I'm at the stage in my mushroom farming where I've gotten a little bit bigger than a hobby, but I'm still a pretty small operation. My fruiting chamber is only two by five by five. So let's see, that's two times five is 10 times five is 50. That's 50 cubic feet of actual brooding chamber area. My incubation area I keep at about 74 degrees and this is where I incubate all of my um, production blocks. In order to maximize the space I keep my blocks very square so I'm still using five pound blocks of substrate. It's important to keep my blocks very cubical so that they stack very close uh, both in my incubation area and also in my fruiting chamber. So the way that I do that is I use these cardboard boxes. So I've got these boxes that are pretty much the exact same size as my bags for my production box. So these are eight by six by six blocks. So when I inoculate my sawdust and get them ready for incubation, what I do is I stuff them into these boxes and that allows me to keep them really nice and square box shaped that way they, they stack in really nicely like you see them here. So I can totally maximize my space. Uh, they also seem to like being in the box. It keeps them nice and warm and lets me stack them in really close, but they're not touching each other. So there's that little bit of insulation that they get from the box, this corrugated cardboard. Uh, keeps them nice and warm, but not too warm. So it's a really kind of a nice, happy medium. These are chestnut mushrooms. I inoculated these last week. So what I do is I leave them in the boxes in this area for one week, and then I take them out of the boxes and then stack them back here on my wire rack. So on Saturday morning, I do all my inoculations so it's Friday, late afternoon, early evening. Um, I'm taking all of my production blocks out of the boxes and I will move them to a kind of a staging area. I have my incubation area right here where I incubate my blocks. Then I have my fruiting chamber where I fruit my blocks. But I also started this little intermediate space that's in the next room that I call kind of my on deck area. I have a, a Quonset hut, so it's basically like a shed. The temperature in my shop is not much different than it is outside. It's about the same as it is outdoors. So my on deck area is about in the high 30s, low 40s. My fruiting chamber is at that same temperature. Rather than moving them straight to the fruiting chamber, I'm moving them out into my shop to, to be on deck. So I'm letting them pin in the holding area. And when they start to pin, I move them to my fruiting chamber. Uh, I let them fruit in there. And when I harvest the fruit, if it's the first fruiting, I move them back to the staging area to start pinning again. So that allows me to have all of the blocks that are fruiting in the fruiting chamber at the same time. So I really couldn't produce as many mushrooms as I am right now with my limited space without that intermediate space that I'm using. Now I've never seen anybody do this. I'm sure somebody else has thought of this, um, but I've never seen anybody who does that. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe it's an innovation of mine, but it's something that, that's working pretty well. These chestnuts were inoculated last week. It's going to take 
two more weeks before they're ready to open. And then it'll be another three weeks, maybe four weeks before they actually fruit. Chestnuts, chestnuts take a while um, to incubate and to fruit. Um, so I'm gonna leave these in here in the incubation area for 20 days before I move them into the staging area where, where they'll be on deck for another three or four weeks. Um, and then when they start to pin, I'll move them into the fruiting chamber and they'll be in there for a week or, or two, whatever it takes for uh, the mushrooms to mature. Then I'll harvest them, move them back to the on deck area and it may take another three weeks for them to, to fruit again. But they'll produce two good flushes. Um, and I flush everything twice, uh, and then that's it. So that's a little look into where we're at right now. I'll keep you up to date.